Coach, is your second straight one and done game. Obviously, this one on the road, but how key is it for your first time postseason guys that they've been able to experience a little bit of the tempo, the speed, and the energy that they're going to see tonight? It's been really key for us. Um, even before we got to the playing game against San Antonio, playing maybe the last five or six games uh, of the regular season, it was all games to position yourself to be in, to, to have these opportunities. So they, they felt it. And then San Antonio playing game was another level. So we look forward to tonight. It'll be a, another big challenge for our guys and, you know, we'll be ready. You were in this building 12 days ago and the Clippers made 21 threes. Now, whoever's playing for them or not, they still have a lot of firepower and they also had 16 made threes against Minnesota. So how is your perimeter defense going to have to change tonight to be more successful? Yeah, it's something that they do really well as they, you know, they move you around. They can shoot the threes off the dribble, uh, catch and shoot. And um, we, we just have to do a better job of getting to those guys, getting to their feet, contesting, and uh, going from there. Lilia, before the game, you kind of just talked about how you've done such a phenomenal job this season. How would you describe what this season has been like for you personally? It's been fun. You know, it's uh, some difficulties involved in it, of course. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a joy going to work every day with our group, um, with our players, our coaching staff, our medical team, performance team, strength, uh, management team. It's been fun. And uh, that's the beauty in it for, for us is that even through the ups and downs, we just have so many high character people. We love getting in the gym and going to work. And uh, it's good to, to have these results and, be, and have this opportunity. Since you had such a big game, was there anybody you had secrets before tonight's game? Yeah, I've spoken with uh, Monty. I've spoken with Steve Kerr and Randy Ayers, um, who was my first coach in Philly. But he and I was together in Phoenix and in New Orleans. And so I'll touch base with, with a number of people and just kind of pick their brains. Come uh, play in or playoff time, how important or how valuable is having a, a big like like JV who can you know, score when, when people do try to switch on to him? It's extremely important to have a guy that you can throw the ball to. And he, even if he doesn't score, he draws a, a ton of attention. And we can get open looks um, by posting the ball up. Um, we know that the Clippers are a team that reds one through five, switch one through five. And so we'll more than likely see, see some of those looks tonight. Yeah, and that, that San Antonio game, I mean, you guys you know, won the battle in the paint, you won the rebounding battle. Just what did you like about what you did on the interior? Uh, it was great especially, you know, starting with our defense. Um, I thought our guys were, were locked in, we were focused. And when we guard like that, we can rebound the ball and get out and play to our best, which is, is, is in the open floor. And we did that against San Antonio. It was, it was really good to see. And, and now we got to turn around and do it again. You talked about some of the frustrations that you've talked with the council. And you and Ty talk quite often, right? Yeah, we do. Normally, would you talk to him? I would. <laughs> I would. Um, but, you know, Ty knows how I feel about him. He's, uh, you know, like a brother, really good friend. And, um, you know, he's done a, an amazing job this season, having his two top guys out for a good part of the season and getting these guys playing hard, competing, playing together is really difficult to do. And uh, he's he's one of the better coaches in, in the league. <laughs> um, he 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 texts me right after we won, and I text him right back, and we we, we had a few exchanges and laughs. So, really, yeah. obviously, uh, the Clippers have done a lot of things positive lately, especially when KD's out. But among that group, is there a guy in particular that you think is dangerous? I mean, they they have a ton of guys that are dangerous, and they've all had moments throughout the course of the season where they're. They step up and they play big and big moments. And, uh, you know, I think, Graf, you mentioned it. Whomever's on the floor for them, they're more than capable. And that's our mindset coming into tonight's game is that we have to be ready for the challenge. Um, they're in, on their home floor coming off an emotional loss, and they're they're going to play uh, extremely well. That's what we expect. Willie, uh, I know you had to prepare for the Spurs, but – did you get to take in any of Tuesday night's game in Minnesota? And what were your impressions of, of how that played out? I did. Um, that was a, a really exciting game to watch. 
Uh, number one, it was it was competitive. It was back and forth, and it just came down to the last few minutes. The team, both teams, which team can execute at the highest level, and um, I thought it was just it was good for for just a, in general, just being a fan of basketball it was fun to watch. Thanks, coach. Thank you, guys.